So now we're going to show you um, and the image of the ship uh, that was found. And the first thing we want to talk about in terms of this image is that it's a very controversial image. And the first thing I understand is that this image is being brought to us by a very advanced telescope. And it was a telescope that was attached to the technology or the equipment of Apollo 20. Um, it was an instrument that they had that was extremely advanced. And so basically we're looking at an image um, that's actually being looked at from basically thousands of miles into space. And basically they had a technology, much like a telescope, you know, when you look at a telescope, the objects look smaller in the telescope. And so this is what we're seeing here. And they're actually seeing it through a computer screen um, as they're moving the telescope. And so with that understanding, um, that's the understanding you need to have as you're looking at this footage. And also you're going to notice there's a lot of static in this footage. That was actually done by NASA. And I'm going to tell you why you'll see that static. And if you take a very good look at it, at what they're looking at here, you'll notice how the ground is shiny. In fact, it's very, very shiny. In fact, it's shining yellow. And that's because there's a lot of gold. And when it starts to static up a lot, that's actually what they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide the fact of what they were really looking at and what they were really going after. They were going after gold, technology, resources, it's the same old man with the same old hang-ups, no matter who's ruling it. And so if you look onto this side right here, you'll start to notice some gold here, and you'll start to start seeing kind of strips of it all on the ground. But it starts to get more stronger around here, and then you start to see it. And what you got to notice about this round gold plate up here is the fact that if you were on the surface looking at it, it basically would look like a mountain of gold down on the surface where you would be at. That's that's a lot of gold, people. <laughs> that's This area is Fort Knox right here. This one area right there. Probably more so. And then look right here. There's another massive mountain of gold right here, too. And that's just mind-blowing. I mean, there's gold on the moon and a whole lot of it. And there's an area there that just has a big, massive, massive mountain of gold. And that's what this whole area is. And that's why they're going over this very, very smoothly. And um, they're trying to get, first of all, they're trying to get a logistics for where to land, uh, where, to, where to go, where to walk around, and basically what to pick up. And so, well, now they're basically scanning the area. And so that you can get a very good view of basically the, the surrounding and the terrain that they're in. And um, soon they're going to start to come across the mothership. And this mothership that you're about to see is the ship that the daughter of man, the female corpse, was found in. And um, she was a pilot of this specific ship. And the ship seems to have been in the hangar, or its hangar. The area, or this area that the ship was found around is believed to have been some type of airport, basically a space age airport, uh, that was basically decimated and destroyed. And so, if you're looking now, you see a lot of these meteor rocks, as you will, and they're all all over the ground now. You see them here, and basically you see them everywhere. And um, these are not, um, you know, natural rock formations. This is the sign of a great devastation that took place in this area. Um, these were the rocks that were shot out of the earth like meteors, and they scattered all over the moon to destroy it. And so that's what you're seeing is these massive holes in the ground. And now you're seeing it all through here. You see these things starting to light up right here? Here and here. This is more gold that's being found there. And it's all over the place. Now the static comes, and this is NASA. NASA's trying to now hide what they're trying to see. Now it's more gold. And not just gold that you're seeing here and here, but now you're starting to see the ship itself, which is right there in the hangar. And the more and more they get closer to it, they can start to see it. And you'll notice that the ship's main, uh, what you would call the bridge, if you will, uh, the screen that covers it, is made of gold as well. And that is a big, massive gold plate, too. And um, you'll notice that now they're getting more closer into the ship, and now they're looking at it. 
And keep in mind also, like I said, telescope technology is what they're using. You're looking at a computer screen from their ship using a telescope machine. So they're actually telescoping this image from their ship onto their ship so they can get a look at it. So knowing that, to know that's important is because this thing is a lot bigger than you think. It's actually far bigger than Manhattan itself. That's how big this ship really is. So knowing that, the ground and everything else is far, far bigger. And so if you notice how these golden massive nuggets, mountain nuggets, are shining off the ground, it's just to show you how much is down there and how big this ship is. And if you notice where the ship is, you notice this big circular thing that's around it. That was part of the hangar that it was once in, but you also notice it's been destroyed too. And so right now he's basically looking at the nose of the ship and he's trying to negotiate a way in. And so right now they're getting an outer look into it before they'll go into a more deeper telescope um, to get a more um, uh, detailed look into it. So basically that's what they're trying to do. And then you notice these big holes that are right on top of it. Um, basically those holes came from the meteor impacts. And now, if you notice all this kind of crazy stuff that's like kind of going on with it, um, right when they get here, you notice how it's very shiny right here. It's basically glowing right there, glowing yellow. And then, you notice how all that glowing stuff was going on and now it's starting to get ooh, more and more shakier now the image is starting to fade out more this is uh, also a NASA trick too and what they were doing was is they were trying to cover up all the gold that was on that Pacific type of um, mountain area that was right above the hangar uh, where the ship was. The ship was inside the hangar and at the top portion of the ship all along that land there were just massive mountains, uh, massive mountain nuggets of gold and that's when it starts to get more and more static because they didn't want you to see that and um, it's quite shocking. There's also um, you know, a lot of bright spots in this video that were very suspicious of, of, of entity activity that was going on. And from what we understand about that is that every Apollo mission was spied on by the fallen angels. So they haunted them and um, many times harassed them um, when they were doing their missions. And so you're noticing more of it. You see more of these kind of gold contentions here. And you see right there right at these areas right here. They're just kind of scattered all through there. And it starts to get more and more foggier. But you start to catch it when you start to take a good look at it. And then right up here too, it's more and more glowing. A lot, a lot of yellow golding glow. All of that are basically massive gold pieces. And with the light, the, the basically all that lighting, that red-blue lighting that keeps happening every time they focus the camera over there, that was NASA's effect on that, basically trying to cover up um, what the camera was catching. And so that's why it's basically glowing all those reflections.